Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What I'm trying to say in the new book of mine is that political corruption and hypocrisy in Malay Muslim political culture and behavior are at the lowest levels in Malaysian history. This phenomenon is not only unprecedented but also brought a lot of shame and embarrassment to the Malay Muslim community and the nation, especially since the eruption of the 1MDB mega scandal. It seems that corrupt political leaders have lost the lofty Malay adab and the value of rasa malu or al haya in Arabic as they fought the battle for political power using unethical means. The goal of power, wealth and status made them oblivious to the suffering of the masses who are the hardest hit by the pandemic of COVID-19. Islamic religious principles are used in political rhetorics to win, political, uh, to win popular support, but the temptation of wealth, power and position are too powerful to be resisted by the political leaders. This has prompted vigorous criticism, condemnation and ridicule from the Malaysian public, notably that of Tun Musa Hitam, Tasri Abdul Hamid Bado, the former chief of police, Dato Usamuddin, who launched his popular Raswa Busters movement, and finally, the deputy Yang Lipertuan Agong Sultan Nazrin Moizuddin Shah himself, who expressed His Majesty's profound disgust and dismay of the political deceit, hypocrisy, and corruption. My message to the concerned Malaysian citizens is that this unethical cancer and pandemic must be put to an end and this requires a major transformative jihad.